What is going on, my fine people? Fine Line 1721 checking back in. Here to give you guys another quick review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at an upcoming Air Jordan slated for release March 23rd. But before we get into that review, I want to take a quick look at some more upcoming Jordan releases. First up, we got the Air Jordan Retro 3 Green Glow releasing March 16th. Next, we got the Air Jordan Retro 14 Flint Gray releasing March 20th. Even though it is not a Jordan release, we do have the Air Max 1 OG 86 Big Bubble Sport Royal releasing, I believe, March 22nd. And last but not least, we got the Air Jordan Retro 2 low women exclusive releasing march 28th now every release that you see here plus the one that we are about to review is shipping out early on fineline1721.com also have full reviews live on the channel if you want to check that out now without further ado let's go ahead and get into the main attraction starting off with the box standard air jordan lip top box all gray on the bottom black lid got nike air branded in the corner taking a look at the label Summit white and black, size 10, we're gonna be taking a look at. Flip the top off, then we're greeted with the garbage bag paper. Flip that down, let's go ahead, get into the shoe. Now that we have these out of the box, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the Air Jordan Retro 9 Powder Blue. These do not come with any added accessories, so let's go ahead and get right into the review. Starting off with that top down view of the shoe, got your all black sock liner, all black tongue with the powder blue Air Jordan branding on the top. Thick mesh tongue sitting below the black rope laces. Black plastic eyelets. Smooth leather toe box. Going around to the lateral side of the shoe. White contrast stitching throughout. Smooth white leather mid panel. Got your powder blue midsole sitting on top of the white outsole with the black Jumpman logo facing the same orientation as the toe. Going down to the bottom of the shoe, got your all white bottom with the powder blue Jumpman logo sitting inside of the two three. Now going around to the heel of the shoe, got the all black pull tab, got the powder blue globe and Jumpman logo sitting on top of the black circle. Also, we have no 2-3 stitched in on the heel, same as the OG that released back in 1994. Going around to the medial side of the shoe, same exact way as the lateral, nothing different there. Go ahead and take that last quick 360. So that about wraps it up for this quick look at the Air Jordan Retro 9 Powder Blue. If you're interested in this pair, any other pair that you see, head over to the website. It is shipping out early on fineline1721.com. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram, follow me on X. Both handles are the same, fineline1721. And into the next video, you guys already know what to do. Be smooth, enjoy life, bless up.